my kids always tell me each year, Dad, Dad, when you going to the Kentucky Derby? When you going to the Kentucky Derby? Well, that question came this year. And I mean, to have them here, have my parents here, have a lot of people here that's coming from Philadelphia, come and support me. It means the world to me, it really do. I just wanna say like, you know, this is a very diverse world. They have people that fought for, fought for our freedom and they was every single color. Let's do the same for ourselves, you know? Let's, let's, let's move on in the 21st century, you know? Let's move on, man. This is what I work for, you know? This, this hard work and trying to rewrite history. We was the first 15 out of 20 years, black jockeys winning the Kentucky Derby. Now you got a black Cajun jockey doing it from the mud. You know, it's, 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 it's gonna be very special in Louisiana for a lot of people. My dad always, everybody wanted to be around him. He was that positive guy, you know? Made me wanted to be a jockey too whenever I was younger. I see how he got along with everyone, you know? I wanted to be that person as well, you know? You know, I wanted to, I wanted to push myself a little harder and, and learn a little bit more because I wasn't, I was already at my peak at the smaller tracks and going to New York, riding with the best jocks, some of the best jocks in the country is gonna get you to do different things out there to become better. I always thought in my eyes, whenever you, you make yourself from the bottom and you start chopping off at it each year and you get into different stats in your career, you know, I'm thinking, well, here we go. You know, it's gonna keep, it's gonna get better, but it just stayed stagnant, which is fine. You know, it, it, it was a little struggle, but you know, happy-go-lucky guy like myself, you know, I don't like that get in, in my head. I just turn the page and keep riding hard and winning races. Every every trainer, every owner want a winner. And I've been a winner. Being hurt, it was a setback, but it was a step forward for me as a man, as a human being, to grow around my own family and, and see the love that people have in the world for me. Once Todd said I could have that horse, I was like, yes, I take him. He's going to be bred for the distance. He's, he's going to fight back. He know how to fight with other horses. He don't play around the last quarter of a mile, goofing off, you know. I need a horse that's going to be running at the end and finishing. And Mr. Brad, just a, um, he's a country guy like myself, you know. From what I can tell on the phone, very, very soft-spoken person, you know. Nice guy. Me and him talk for a while, you know. He, He's very happy um, about my career and what he could have do to help me get to this point. I praise him because like his story is something like my story. You know, we both came from nothing and, you know, we fought to get what we have and we appreciate it and we are um, grateful to God about it. And, you know, we, we just feel like when we talk, it's our turn to win the roses. You know, I, I can feel it from him. Uh, he can feel it from me. If you were to win the Kentucky Derby, where do those emotions go? Oh, man. That is, that is gonna be crazy, man. I wouldn't even be able to explain that. You would just probably have to hug me to feel it, you know? And I'm gonna be right there with the clouds, with the airplane, man. It's just gonna, it's gonna be emotional, man. Very emotional but it's gonna feel so freaking good, man.